According to autocorrelation models, wait. Don't you me? It's attached to a. We're still. It can even. Yes, we'll be. Not that. And yes. Yes, it's. But don't worry. In short, they all give the pro. All right. Huh. Do I know? Splendid. Normally, my request. We don't. Ah, yes. I don't need. I'm. Huh. Do I? Splendid. Normally, my. I'm sorry, I'm not. We don't. You do have a point. Ah, yes. That's not. Normally, my requests aren't given this much. True. You're right. That is... Ah, yes. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new task pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Yes, what? Test pilots only be on this point. Not on my watch. Outside of Dr. Vogel, the only person to authorize additional permissions is Commander Natara. And I don't see either of them with you. Commander Natara was brought on to investigate.
prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Unauthorized launch from engineering. All ships, secure the prototype. Got a bogey, on them. like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. Need something? Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? You bear before I can make the offer, but I'd like to buy you a drink to say thanks. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comp spike. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Delgado and I believe he's on to something. What that is though, remains to be seen. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Something I can get for you? the proper shielding for any smuggling jobs. Huh? 
The fleet protects our own. But you turn against us, and you're dead. I'm only stationed on the key until the heat dies down. Then it's back to raining. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right, that leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. You're damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Better get a move on before Dale sees you slacking.
Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. feedback checks out. We're in the right place. It's tough not seeing any action, but securing a station like this is a pretty important duty. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the Rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. As you probably guessed, not very well. Keeping Mast out of the loop regarding this particular mission has proven exceptionally difficult. But we've managed to keep your involvement in the dark. Sparing the lives of the soldiers on SY-920 has definitely made our position with the top brass much easier. And on behalf of the United Colonies and Commander Natara, I thank you. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. And that all depends on what you brought back from your mission. Aside from your eyewitness testimony, I assume you have the usual evidence that could lead to her incarceration? I can take it off your hands once we complete your debriefing. But at the moment, I'm far more concerned about the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. It's long overdue. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. Everything looks clear.
velocity yet. It'll change your life. You looking to get zone? Yeah. Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Specifics, huh? Okay, fine. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in the right direction, and watch us go. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. <laughs> beneath your feet, genius. It's the lowest level of neon. Jennerdyne and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. It might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight, but as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass and you'll have the run of the place. Ryujin Club doesn't mean shit at Jennerdyne. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Don't let Komiko push you around. She is the most tough as she seems.